This is Indio Radio. You're listening to That MMA Show. Is everybody in front? Mm-hmm. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, post-fight press conference for Invicta Fighting Championships 5, another memorable night in women's mixed martial arts is in the books as we crowned uh, not one but actually two champions. We saw the Invicta FC debut of a host of champions or former champions from other organizations and it is my pleasure at this time to uh, welcome the president of Invicta FC, Shannon Knapp. Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and the support that you give Invicta and our athletes. Secondly, and most importantly, I want to thank the athletes. They put on amazing performances every time they step in our cage. Did you guys enjoy the show? Yeah. yeah. At this point, you can see we have Marlis Kunin, Barb Blanchett, Chris Cyborg, and Sarah Kaufman. We're going to open the floor up for questions. So Mike has the microphone. If you want to ask a question, please just get him to say no. Sir. Hey, this question's for Barb. Barb, it's Jeremy White with UMR Live. Great to see you winning tonight. Um, you know, coming from MFS, they've got a you know, story tradition of uh, title holders, champions going in and out of that gym. And in the last couple years, you know, there have been some changes over there at MFS. Um, your coach, Junior Hernandez, has moved up. And, uh, you know, by tonight, you know, judging by your performance, he's done quite a good job with you. Um, two questions, really. One, what does it mean to bring another title home to MFS? And two, I want to hear about Junior and Pat and, and all that work that Junior's done with you. Thanks. Um, you know, th there's just a legacy that goes with um, with with knowledge fighting systems, and the knowledge fighting system is still very much alive, and it's still dominant. Um, I think there that a lot of the fighters that were there just um, sort of dispersed for a while, but the team is really building up again. We have a ton of amateurs about to make great debuts oh, yeah. there. That are, yeah, you're going to start seeing them again. Um, Junior has been a wonderful head coach. He's really brought the team together and made us a team again. Um, it's, he's very easy to rally around. He expects perfection and he pushes us hard. Um, and, you know, that's the military way. It is hard, hard work. And um, I think that you're going to see a lot of them with us in the future. Thank you very much. Come on, nobody wants to ask a question about Marlins and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys crazy? Okay. Um, Shannon, I, I, my question is actually for you. Um, 135, will you be holding that off until after the tough tryouts? Yeah, and absolutely. 125, uh, who are the top two contenders uh, for Barb now? Well, I think that uh, there's a couple sitting out there, but we haven't made, you know, I'm not going to bring them up yet. We haven't made any decisions on who's going to move into that position. But I think that. Uh, yeah, there's a couple that are set out there. Fine for that position. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy Johnson with that MMA show. Uh, this question is for Marlos and for Chris. Um, Marlos, I'm sorry. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> right in front of you. Um, after seeing the uh, the commanding performance of uh, Chris Cyborg tonight, how do you feel um, going into this fight? I feel terrified. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Uh, after my first fight with Chris, um, I, I yeah I know this sounds stupid, but I kind of underestimated her. I was like, oh, she's got a lot of muscles, but I would see that. And then she hit me, and then off go my game plan, and uh, she hit me a little bit more. And uh, but uh, I hate it when I lose. I really hate that, and I always want to make up for my losses. So I have a few girls still in my days. And uh, what I like about Chris is that uh, she's a true, true fighter, and uh, I like the challenge. And uh, it, three years, and the challenge has come up. I always said I wanted to do it at the end of my career, but it became sooner, it came sooner, and now when uh, it, it, how do you say it, it's a language barrier, but I'm really happy it happened sooner than after my career, because I'm going for the win, and then she needs another rematch, and then we can fight again, and, uh, <laughs> and so on. Chris, how do you feel against it? I want to say thank you for everybody's support, baby. They're very excited to be here. And today is an amazing day for me. And one year no fighting, and my first fight, and I try to do my best for everybody. 
and I still aggressive and I try to count all the time. And then I say thank you for my school. I appreciate it. She's very good athlete too. And let's go fight if you like it. I feel ready. And I think you have a good show for us. Uh, okay. Oh, my first question is to Shannon. Um, what about the 115 title? Are we going to be seeing that um, defended anytime soon? Yes, you are. Possibly on the next card. Okay, any idea of who, who would be yet. challenging? Well, we have an idea, but we're not disclosing that at this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, and my next question is to Sarah. Um, you know, going into that decision, that last round, um, did, you, did you feel that you won, or did you feel it was really, really close? Um, you know, I definitely knew I won the first. Uh, second, you know, Leslie was able to take control and then that round. And then going into the third, I felt really strong, uh, pushed forward a lot, uh, you know, landed quite a few combos, and, and I thought that I won the fight first and third. Okay, thank you. Hi. 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 Is, is this what I'm supposed to be, or am I just coming I mean, keep pushing. Sarah, you said that uh, you'd like to take Zufa after your fight. Can you clarify the situation on why you were able to take this fight and what it was you were thinking of before? Uh, well, you know, they gave me permission and they gave Victor permission to allow me to fight here. And I was really excited. I asked them to do that. Um, I didn't want to keep waiting and I was, you know, I had the opportunity to fight for Victor in October and then I had the injury and wasn't able to do that. So I was just really excited to be under the Invicta banner and part of such an amazing organization for the females of, from 105 up to 145 to really showcase their skills. And you definitely saw that tonight in all of the divisions. Is that something that they're going to continue to allow in the future, or is this a one-time only deal? Uh, you know, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I know that, that they've had a really good relationship between Invicta you know, and Zupa, but you know, that's Shannon and, and, and Sean Shelby there dealing with that stuff. I just fight. Well, that was actually my next question. Shannon, what is the relationship between Invicta and Zufa right now? You know, it's a very positive relationship. I mean, we're both working for the same cause to make it better for my female athletes. Uh, we're respectful to them, they're respectful to us, and the relationship continues to work. Awesome, thank you. I was hoping Leslie would show up. <laughs> Leslie, this is Jeremy White with UMOR Live. Um, first, I want to get your reaction to the crowd's reaction at the end of the fight, and then, of course, your reaction to the decision. I love fighting here. I love the crowd. I really appreciate them. Um, I never am happy to see anybody inside the ring getting booed for any situation. Um, you know, it's nothing I'm ever going to encourage, whether whether I think I won the fight or whether, you know, whatever. I never, I never want to see my opponent get booed. But I think the crowd was pretty plain about who they think won. Um, they, they definitely showed it. They were really loud and noisy about it, which isn't anything that I encourage, but uh, that's what I heard. As far as my feelings, I got nothing to say. I, uh, you know, I should have finished it. I, um, you know, I could stay here and I could whine and complain, but I prefer to keep it classy. And I should have finished the fight. It went to the judges, so um, that's, that's how it went. <laughs> Leslie, this question is for you. Um, Jeremy with that MMA show. And so with the commanding performance that you did put on between you and Sarah, do you feel that this puts you on the UFC's radar now? Well, I don't really feel like the UFC could be too proud of putting a fighter out there that won such a, uh, such a, um, such a decision. Controversial. A controversial. That's the word I was going for. Way to put, way to put it, George. I mean, it, was, it was a controversial decision. Um, I don't really think the UFC can do anything other than have us fight again to settle the score. I mean, that's that's really the only place that 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 it can get finished because they're not going to really look too good putting up their person and saying, "Look, we got the number two contender," but half the world thinks that she lost to Invicta's fighter. So. Um, does that answer the question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Hey, Shannon, this is Veronica with Women's of May Roundup. Um, can you talk about uh, preliminary pay-per-view buying numbers? 
No. Okay, I tell you, I learned my lesson a long time ago. I figured that's the answer we get. Okay, how about I'm not a repeat offender. How about a Take up the stream went a lot better. You didn't hear anything about issues um, that have you heard about. Isn't that, that cool? Isn't that great? Satellite, HD, smooth sailing. Yeah. So everything was really good tonight. Um, we trended on Twitter, so we accomplished a lot of good things. Uh, I think the fan response was extremely positive. But how could it not be? <laughs> you got to give it all up to the athletes. We just provide a platform. They come in and do everything else, and you're the people that support them and help raise this thing. Are you going to continue with the same model uh, in the future? Uh, in terms of pay-per-view? Yes. Is that what you're asking? Exactly. Yeah, no, hopefully we're going to have a broadcast home. Yeah, that's what I want to know. <laughs> in the idea where? Can you say? No. OK. Thank you. <laughs> My question is for Chris. Chris, I know it's been a while since you've been in the ring. Did anything feel different, or can you take us through what it was like to actually walk down the ramp and, and you felt the door close behind you? Uh, I, I'm a little bit nervous. I think everybody wants to fight to be nervous, but I, I feel ready. And this fight, I have good support, and team support me and the, all my trainers. And I feel ready, you know, for any situation, stand up or ground. And I'm very excited and happy. And in the other fights, I try to do my best. And, and I'm mean, a blessing, you know. Anyway. Chris, what do you think will be different the next time you face Marlos Kunin as compared to the last fight? I, I think when I fight her, I think three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Three years ago, I think she's she's better and I'm be better too. I think we keep training, and I think a good match. And I I'm a, I'm very impressed because after the fight I did it with her and she's lose she did, she lose and she's the first fighter after I fight she say I wanna fight you again. And after finish the fight she say to me I wanna fight you again. It's happening. Mm -hmm. Are you in any way worried that uh, the Mushlo fight was not enough of a test to prepare you for Kunin? No, I'll be ready, you know. I, I, I train hard and I train in gym and I think what, what I did inside the gym, I will do in cage. And I'll be ready for the fight. I'll be ready. I want to be ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Shannon, I was wondering if you would be uh, interested in Leslie Smith versus Sarah Kaufman, too. For uh, Beck Hyatt? Ooh, I got some good competition for Beck Hyatt. <laughs> now, there's a lot of girls that are coming up through the ranks that, you know, definitely I think Joanna Calderwood's setting out there that that will be a matchup we'll all want to see eventually. I think we'll, uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay, is that it for these athletes? Alright, give us a second, we're going to switch them out, and we'll bring up the next. Alright? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Stop it. <laughs>